plans and elevations are the views from different sides of a solid. So the plan is the view from the top. So the bird's eye view, the view looking down on the shape. The front elevation is the view from the front and the side elevation is the view from the side. So here we've got, we've been given on a centimeter grid, the front elevation, the plan and the side elevation. And we need to sketch the 3D shape, sketch the solid. So we can see that the plan is a circle with a diameter of four centimeters. And from the side, it looks like a triangle. So we can see it's again, four centimeters at the bottom and it goes up five centimeters. So we have a cone. So we've got a diameter of four centimeters and we're gonna have a perpendicular height of five centimeters. So four centimeters as a diameter and a perpendicular height of five centimeters. And that is all we need. That is a sketch of our solid. Okay, one for you to try. So again, you've been given the front elevation, the side elevation and the plan and draw a sketch of the solid. So we can see looking at the front of the shape, we've got a trapezium and it's five along and three high. So five along the bottom and the top of the trapezium is also three. So we've got five centimeters, a perpendicular height of three centimeters and we've also got three centimeters as the top of the trapezium. How far does it go back? Well, if you look at the side, the side goes back two. So it's going back two centimeters. And this is our shape. That's the sketch of our solid. So we've given the dimensions. So if you look at it from the front, you see this shape, a trapezium from the side. You can see a rectangle with a width of two and a height or a length of three. And from the top to the plan, you can see well, the three by two rectangle on the top and the two bits on the side for the slanted sides. This time, we have been given the shape drawn for us and we need to draw the front elevation and the plan. So we've got a cylinder. So the plan, looking at the top down, looking from the top down, is gonna be a circle with a radius of three. So a diameter of six. So if we grab a compass, and extend the radius so it's three centimeters so we can use the centimeter grid we've got and we draw around in the circle so there is our circle with a radius of three centimeters what does it look like what does it look like from the front? What shape can you see from the front? So it will be six along the whole diameter, six centimeters and seven tall, and it will look like a rectangle. So we go six along and seven up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll label these. So this is our plan. And this is the front elevation. So from the top, we can see a circle with a radius of three centimeters. And from the front, if we looked at, we looked at this from the front, we can see a rectangle with a length of 
seven centimeters tall, seven centimeters high, and six centimeters across. Okay, one for you to try. So we've got a cuboid, and we're asked for the front elevation, the plan, and the side elevation of this shape. So the plan is the view from the top looking down. So we can see from the top, it will be a rectangle, four centimeters by three centimeters. So four centimeters by three centimeters. And that is the plan. So let's label this the plan. What would we see from the front? Well, four along and two up. So if we looked at it from the front, it's four along and two up. So this is called the front elevation. And how about the side? If you looked at it from the side, from this way, you will see three centimeters along the bottom and two up. So this is the side elevation. Okay, so two questions to finish up. Question one, we're drawing the front elevation and the side elevation. And question two, sketching the solid. Okay, so question one, the front elevation. If you looked at it from the front, you will see a triangle with a base of two and a height of four. So two along, four up. That's our front elevation. And how about the side elevation? So if you looked at it from this side or the other side, it will be three along and four up. So a base of three, three along the bottom and four up. And that is our side elevation. We weren't asked to draw a plan, but if we did draw a plan, it will be two by three. The view from the top down. And question two. So we have been given the front elevation, the plan and the side elevation, and we need to draw a sketch. We can see from the front elevation, it's a long three, up three, so it's got a base of three and a height of three, and then it goes along two, down two, then a long one and down one. So the front looks something like this. It's just a sketch. It doesn't have to be accurate. And then how far does it go back? So we can see by looking at the side elevation or the plan that it goes back by four centimeters. If you look at it from the side, you see four centimeters along. So we're saying it's going back four centimeters so it looks something like this let's draw the measurements on so three centimeters along the bottom three centimeters up the side and then these are one centimeters up and along and then two centimeters and two centimeters. So there are all the measurements of the front shape and it goes back by four centimeters. And you can check by looking at the side. If you look at it from the side, you'll see it's four along. So the side, if you look at it from this way, it's four along, 
three tall in total, but you can see this shelf, this bit that's a different height, is shown by a line. And the same thing with the plan. So looking downwards on it, it's three along, four back, and the bit that's a different height is again shown with this line.